part A to this question wants us to calculate the concentration of the silver 1 nitrate solution in moles per litre. So on, for the purpose of this, I'm going to do all my working to do with the metal chloride on the left hand side. And I'm going to do all my working for the silver 1 nitrate on the right hand side. Now, if we look at the information that we have been given, it wants us to calculate the concentration. Now, we know that concentration is equal to number of moles over volume. If we were to put that into units, that would be mole over litres. So what we want to be able to do is we already know the volume in the question. It says 34 grams per litre. So we've already got the value here. It's going to be in one litre. We need to make sure that we've got the number of moles to do that. In the question, they have given us grams per litre. So they've got G, L to the minus 1, which is the same as writing grams per litre, which is G over L. We can see that we've got these two things that are the exact same. So there must be a relationship between grams and the number of moles. And this is where we need to calculate the number of moles using the mass triangle. N is equal to M over GFM. The mass we were given in the question was 34 grams. We would need to calculate the GFM. So if we pop that into our calculator, silver is 107.9 plus nitrogen, which is 14, plus three oxygens, which is 48. That gives us a GFM of 169.9. When I pop that into the calculator, 34 divided by answer, that comes in at 0 0.2. That's how many moles are in one litre. Part B of the question wants you to calculate the mass of metal which is present in the metal chloride sample. So when we are doing most questions in advanced higher chemistry, we use the numbers backwards. So for us to calculate the mass of metal chloride, we did a titration against the silver nitrate solution. So what we have to be able to do is calculate the number of moles of silver nitrate solution that was titrated in the reaction. So number of moles is equal to C times V. The concentration where we're given in the question for the, from the previous part, which was 0 0.2, times by the tighter value given in the question, which was 50 centimetres cubed, and we divide that by 1,000. So if I pop in the calculator, 50 divided by 1,000, to put that into litres, that gives me 0 0.05. Multiply that by 0 0.2 and the answer comes in at 0 0.01 moles. That's the number of moles that actually reacted with the metal chloride. Now we're going to assume that the ratio is 1 to 1. The reason being this negative ion, this nitrate ion has a valency of 1. We know the silver's got a valency of 1. The chloride has got a valency of 1. So at the moment we're going to assume that the metal found in the metal chloride has a valence of one. We pop this underneath here. We didn't have one mole, we had 0 0.01 moles. We want to cross multiply. So that would be one times 0 0.01 divided by one, which comes in at 0 0.01 moles. Now, if we read the numbers backwards, we've used the 50 centimeters cubed. The next piece of information we've been given is about the metal chloride. Now, this number of moles was found in 20 centimetres cubed. So we've got 0 0.01 moles found in 20 centimetres cubed. But that was only a little portion of the standard flask. So we have to scale up for the standard flask, which was 100 centimetres cubed. So to do that, we would do a cross multiplication. So in our calculators, we've got 0 0.01. We'll times that by 100, divide that by 20. And that tells us that we actually should have 0 0.05 moles of our metal chloride in our standard flask. So I'm going to highlight that blue because that's what we should have. 
Now the question doesn't ask us about that. The question wants us to calculate the mass of metal, but at this stage, it's difficult for us to work out the mass of metal because we don't know any information about the type of metal that's there. M is equal to N times GFM. But what we do know is it's got chlorine, so we're going to do it for the chloride ion. So the number of moles is 0 0.05 times by 35.5 for chlorine, which comes in at 1.775 grams for our chloride. The total mass, so if we've got metal chloride, The original sample was 6.05 grams. The chloride we have just calculated as 1.775 grams. So to calculate the metal, we would take these two values away from each other. So I'll do 6.05 minus answer, and that comes in for a mass of 4.275 grams of my metal. Part C asks us to use the experimental results to establish that the metal chloride is rubidium chloride. Rubidium um, is found in group one of the periodic table. It's got a valence of one, which works alongside our hypothesis that we thought that this metal would have a valence of one. Now, the information that we can collect for, from rubidium using the data booklet is the gram formula mass. So... If we wanted to use the information we already have, GFM is equal to M over N. The mass we calculated in the previous part is 4.275. Now we need to divide it by the number of moles of our metal chloride, which is this here, 0 0.05. So divide by 0 0.05, which comes in at 85.5 grams. When you look this up, in the data booklet, you can see that the GFM of rubidium is 85.5.